Hello everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. This video is a collaboration with my friend over on Sage and Stone Homestead, Heather, and a few other channels that I discover through her with this collaboration. So if you want to check out a video similar to this but with other farm animals I would encourage you to click in the description box down below so you can go ahead and check out new channels if you're interested there's all kinds of things from cattle to bees and you know they cover more farm animals that one channel does at least the ones that I follow so please go ahead and check that out if you're interested so I want to say thank you to Heather for inviting me to this collaboration I had so much fun putting it together and it's been pretty eventful um, really because a lot had happened with my ducks which is what I'm gonna cover in today's video now my ducks were I call them my rescue dogs because they were born in the state of Utah and I was living in the state of Oregon so you're probably wondering how did this did this happen well my nieces came when we moved and they were really excited to have some kind of animal when they came back and their parents decided to give them some ducks so they got two ducks and they loved on those little ducks as they were ducklings but they grow very very fast um, by the time that they were older or a few months old and full grown um, there was a lot of mud a lot of smell and a lot of work that my nieces did not want to do so my husband still working in the city decided to put them in the back of a truck and brought them all the way up to Oregon and I haven't looked back since then I really do love ducks but really never owned ducks before and had no idea how to care for them so in the beginning it was a little bit of trial and error and just those basic things are the ones that I want to share with you today so let's start with number one ducks don't eat the same kind of feed that chickens do I didn't know that I learned that the hard way when after buying chicken feed one of the dogs started limping and then all of a sudden uh, all of a sudden uh, stopped walking so I started to do my research and I realized that one of the things that chicken feed does not include is niacin and niacin is something that dogs do not produce produce for themselves so you do have to supplement it and that's something that doesn't come in chicken feed now if you ask me back then chicken feed and dog feed was about the same amount Per bag and maybe a couple dollar difference so it's just the fact that I didn't know that it wasn't good as specific for a duck food now is there other ways to do it is there other way to supplement that niacin that maybe it's not in chicken feed if you keep them together yeah there is but I think the easiest way is if you keep chickens and ducks together you just add a small bag of duck pellets to the chicken feed and that will help supplement what the chicken feed doesn't have they also need clean water every day now I'm going to show you kind of our setup for both seasons right now we do have them in a small container that I call the naughty pond which is where they breed breed and then over the summer and spring they have the creek where they can go swim and they have a constant supply of clean water where they can keep themselves entertained and also keep themselves healthy because if you don't keep your ducks in a um, clean water environment where you change it regularly they're not only going to stop going into the water but they're not going to be as healthy they do need to kind of play in the water swim around. despite some people thinking that you know you just give them water and it doesn't matter how muddy it is they're going to enjoy it uh, let me tell you they don't and as it starts to get muddy and disgusting, they stop using it to bathe and other things. So it's really important that they have clean water. And in, despite the fact that that's a pretty small area to go swim and wash themselves, sometimes there's three of them in there, and they quite enjoy it, or they take time, or they take turns to go in and take a bath. So they can live very peacefully as long as they have water. They just enjoy taking baths 
and especially as the water goes into the mud this helps them since they don't scratch it helps them to go through the mud with their bills and able to find all kinds of little bugs that they love to eat It's not only going to keep them happy to have clean water available to them, but it's also going to keep them healthier. Ducks are very, very social. They know their friends, they look for their friends, they protect their friends, and they have fights with their friends just like humans do. So if you want a duck friend that will be your pet, keep no more than two. That's another tip. But if you want to see them really, really happy, then the more, the better, because they really enjoy being social. But if you see a duck that is separating from the rest, it's a clear sign that there's something going on. And typically that will follow with a little bit of bullying or the other ducks kind of attacking the one that is staying separate. Um, that's kind of the way it is uh, for us humans that sounds completely horrible or at least to me it does look, uh, sound completely horrible but if one of the things I learned is that every single animal has different things on how they deal with their sick and sadly that's the case with ducks now recently I saw one of my ducks that was separating he was a drake I did a video about it I share with you everything that I did to try to save him but sadly despite of being very hardy in my experience ducks are if you feed them properly if you give them clean water and if you keep them somewhat in the water swimming or having that available to them they're very very hardy but they still die and um, th this is the first year that we hatch and um, recently we ended up but there's something in the there's something in the creek swimming and I'm wondering what it is um, the other day I found a turtle go figure we don't have turtles here I don't think Anyways, so if you see a duck that is separating, that's a clear sign that there's something going on and you should. Did you know that ducks live longer than dogs? I didn't know that. <laughs> Apparently they live between 10 to 15 years and some of them to 20 years. So if you were wondering, you know, if this is maybe a perfect pet for a kid, well, if you're expecting them to keep them into their 20s, it could be. But if you are just trying to add something to your farm that is easy to care for, will produce eggs depending on the breed, and at the same time help with mulch and create a garden, which is what I'm doing this year, then that's definitely for you. But they are a commitment. They do, they do live for a really long time. Neighbor has lots of trees. So he brought two crap loads of them and look at the ducks, they're just loving it. They find all kinds of bugs in these leaves, don't they? Good morning duckling. And lastly, ducks do require space, in my opinion. And because of my standards and how I like my farm to look like, I don't like messes, I don't like stinky places. So definitely the better, um, the bigger the yard that you keep them in, if you're not gonna keep them, you know, just roaming around, then the better because if you keep them in a small place their poop smells disgusting and that will make you clean it a lot more also if you're gonna keep them in a small plastic container that water needs to be changed because it does really smell now if you keep them in like a wooded area like we are going to keep them coming the spring we're going to move them over here where there's going to be grass and there's going to be leaves and things to go through the bigger the space the better because they really doesn't stink 
they have a bad reputation of stinkers and being messy and yes they are but the the smaller the place that you keep them in the dirtier than they are using the leaves to mulch all my beds but not all of them but we have more truckloads of this amazing and mud free now that pen because of the leaves probably six inches what do you guys want what do you want que quieren las nenas lombrices donde están las lombrices de las nenas donde están en mi jardín ¿Quién anda en mi jardín? Mm, no las tac tacs de mamá. No, 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 no. Ellas son niñas buenas. ¿Verdad? ¿Quiénes son las nenas más buenas de la casa? Oh, qué niña más linda. Qué niña más linda. Ay, qué cosa. Ah, ¿Te cansaste, mamá? Ah. It's okay. You can go night night. What I mean, can I eat night night? No? What's a media callejera? La tuya no es la siesta, hija. Okay. Go find bugs. Okay, la señorita quiere dormir la siesta. So anyways, overall for me, dogs are a joy. Um, I'm gonna put a few clips of, you know, how they used to come and take naps with us when it was only the two of them and they didn't have as many friends. They're very funny. They have, like, their antics are hilarious. So I do recommend them. But I hope that you enjoy these things that I share with you today and that it helps you make a decision if this is something that you want to add to your farm. I do have another video about ducks. I'm gonna link them in the description box down below. How I use them in our farm to really serve a purpose and how um, it kind of creates the special this special environment I'm trying to create from a permaculture point of view so I hope you check those out thank you so much again for checking out the video thank you for the collaboration and thanks especially to Heather I'll talk to you guys next time bye guys